gonna turning turn. around. We know we got to turn this way oh, and go away from the block. It's gonna flip over. Dennis the Menace is back to collect more dirt. He's really hauling ass. We're doing some Despicable Me Gru type secret yeah. boring underground. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna give you a real look at what a day working and excavating is like, from planning out the day to working through the project, and even a special guest appearance from my grandpap that you will not want to miss. So get some popcorn, sit back, relax, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now let's get into the video. Hello GoPro, hello YouTube, hello viewer. Have a good day. Love you. Love you I'm going to work now. Today's Monday, quite a rainy day. Okay, it's actually raining quite hard and profusely, so I will put up my hood, my hooded hood, so I don't get rained upon. Now we will go question the father to see what we'll be doing in the day's work, the days ahead. Hello and welcome to my documentation. Hi. What's the plan, Richard? The plan is digging out underneath the garage, replacing a wall. The grand scheme of things. We're gonna use a mole to punch a hole through the dirt to put a pipe in without excavating all of it out. You will see more when we arrive. We have a special guest with us today. We have some construction going on back home, so Hank doesn't like it very much. So he'll be joining us today, so he's not stressed out during the construction process. So here we have the site of operation. So what's going on here today? Okay, so we had a garage, as you can see, that had two block walls, cement block walls, that were actually cracking and pushing in. The contractor supported the roof with these beams and these posts, lifted the garage up slightly above the block, and then they knocked the block out. So then what I have to do is I have to get them enough room to lay new block in. And then I'm gonna put a French drain in and we're gonna backfill with gravel. What are we doing with the mole thing? Oh, the mole. This is called a mole. And we're gonna position it and send it through a section of dirt here, approximately 60 feet. And it will tunnel itself through and, and what we call daylight out through. And it'll create a hole that Sorry, big. Pipe. Interesting machines. Normally you don't use these, huh? No. It is very useful for like small spaces, as you can tell. So right now, what I'm doing is digging out all the dirt around this pipe here. This all fell because it got wet and it all kind of collapsed. So I have to dig out all this stuff around the pipe. I'll be able to move it all to this pile. Then we can take it out with this, take it out to the truck and haul it away. So I was just cleaning this out, pulled the extra dirt out, made it nice and clean. Just basically shoveling out along the bottom, making it smooth. Now we got these two big piles. So we got the truck coming and then we're gonna load up the truck with this and haul all the dirt away. And then we'll slide it and lay it right. Hello there, construction guy. Hello. So, I got Hank with me, as you can see. We need to get a broom to sweep all that excess dirt out of the garage. How do I get out of here? Huh? Loop around, I guess. 
All right, we're back home. I'm gonna grab the broom, let Hank out, and then we're gonna head back over there. All right, got the broom. Now, I'm gonna let Hank out. Go pee, buddy. Here, come here. Go pee. Oh, there's a rabbit. <laughs> he didn't even see the rabbit. He smells it, though. Stay over here, buddy. Wow, good boy. He's still very nimble. We got Hank left out to pee. And when I was getting the broom, I saw the Amish. I, I had my GoPro in my hand. I didn't want to film them because I don't really know all the rules with the Amish. I, I There's a lot of strict rules. If you don't know what the Amish are, it's like a very orthodox Christian, I think, religious group. They don't use like electricity or anything like that. But yeah, they're, they're carpenters, like mostly. They're really skilled carpenters. And people around here in Pennsylvania, there's a lot of Amish towns in Pennsylvania. People around here usually get them to do carpentry work because that's how they make their livelihood, you know? But yeah, I didn't want to film them because they're not allowed to use like electricity, like I told you, and like, I'm not really sure how they feel about being on camera. Maybe I'll film the Amish another day. Pretty cool, they speak a language called Pennsylvania Dutch, which is like a variant of German, basically. So, I'm interested in languages. Yo hablo español un poco. Quiero hacer un video hablando español para 24 horas en Pennsylvania, algo así. So, we're back. Workday vlog. Later I'm gonna go move the bikes. We're gonna take the bikes to the mechanic. What do you mean? Don't go up too what, high. what are we doing? Gonna Turning turn. it around. We know, we gotta turn this way and oh, go that's... away from the block. It's gonna flip over. I don't know if it's going very yeah. well, Rick. Yeah. I can't, I can't really get forward yeah. momentum on. All right, we got it. Wow, there we go. I was telling the viewers about your old bike that you're gonna restore oh, so okay. that we're gonna take it today to the mechanic, yeah. AKA Bill Stewart, William Stewart, the machinist legend. Dennis the Menace is back to collect more dirt. He's really hauling ass. All right, threading the needle. I'm a fan of this. I like dust. Yeah, I know you like dust. But I don't really like to breathe it, but I like how it is all powdery and stuff, you know? Pretty cool, dust. It's interesting. Take a survey on dust. What? <laughs> Take a survey on dust. What did you mean by that, Dad? What's that? Take, take a, a survey on take dust. Take a survey on dust. Research it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I'm interested in it. I'll do some research on dust. Take a survey. I can make a video about dust. The wind pick up the dust. Cars stir up the dust. I could research the dust bowl. Right, it might help to take care of the pandemic. Pandemic. It would knock it right to the ground. The dust. Then we pick it up with our shoes. Okay. <laughs> You know, it might have been easier just to cut this darn pipe off and get it the hell out of the way. That was shiny over there. Yeah, it is a hot Holy shit. He's going to bury this supper again. He could probably get $5 out of that. You know what my friend said, Pap? What? He said all those batteries you have in your garage, he said you could sell those for about $3 a piece. Some of them $9. That's what's going to happen one of these days. Yeah. It has to be cold and split up. And, uh, okay, just set it down. So, Thank you. So where, what is the I'm plan? I'm gonna try to get it to go like that. So it's gonna come through the ground and then it'll come out somewhere. Maybe in here. So we're doing some Despicable Me Gru type secret yeah. boring underground. That's exactly where we wanted it to come out. Exactly. The Elmish will still be there when we're back, eh? I don't know, let's see. Maybe I could film them secretly. I don't want to. Is that mean to film them secretly? Well, you don't want to go like that. Yeah. Well, they're never going to see it. <laughs> But is it blasphemous to film in Amish? I'm a little gun shy around filming around the Amish. What do you think, Hank? He has no comment.
We're back at the Johnson compound, aka my house. Let's check out what the Amish did. The Amish Mafia. They got this ceilings and this whole area looking good. So now we're off to get lunch. Gonna get some Dairy Queen, Queen of Dairy. It's uh, almost three o'clock. Right now we are at Ace Hardware. My father is inside right now getting pipe for that hole that we bored. We're gonna run pipe through it. After we get the pipe through it, we are going to call it quits for work today. That's basically the goal that we have. Then we're gonna go get the dirt bikes, take them to the mechanic. Yeah, so that's the plan. Now we're putting the pipe into the hole that we bored out. This technique works better than hitting it. We use the machine. Now we're gonna see the pipe come through to the other side. And we will see a mission success. So that's it, there's 40 feet of pipe through the ground without ever digging the ground up all in a day's work. <laughs> okay. And then it'll be all Restored up. Uh, this thing is gonna be restored soon. It's a uh, 1972 LT2 100. Yamaha's Enduro line. I'm gonna restore it, get all the original parts and everything, make it look as nice as possible. And yeah, it'll be really neat. Hank loves ice. Easy, easy. Good boy. All right, well, uh, that is all for today. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. And uh, thanks for watching once again. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you back again for the next video.